All right, in this exercise, we are going to practice converting an estimate to a purchase order. Now I have the exercise pulled up here on the right-hand side. This is what we are going to follow along with. And this exercise is pulled from our Basic Level Pro Advisor Certification course. If you would like more information about the course after we go through the exercise, there is a link below in the description. Feel free to click on that. But let's go ahead and dive right in and see what our scenario will be for today. Great news, Gvelber uh, Photography liked the price and wants to move forward with installing the background. Create a purchase order to authorize the purchase of one pump from Norton Lumber and Building Materials. You already have some of the rock fountains in stock, so we don't need to include that as part of the purchase order. You will need to be in the same session of the sample company that you did the previous exercise in. If you have not completed that exercise where you create an estimate, go ahead and click on the link on the top right corner of your screen. That'll take you to that exercise, complete that one, and then come back to this one. They build on each other, so it's important to start with that first one. Now, in a real life scenario, you would need to make sure that purchase orders is turned on. To do this, you would click on the gear icon and then click on account and settings. From the left navigation bar in account and, setting, account and settings, you'd click on expenses and then click into the purchase order section to edit. Um, so let's just do that really quickly. Let me show you where that is. That gear icon, account and settings, um, in the expenses tab right there, you would want to check that purchase orders is turned on. Now in the sample company, this feature is already turned on, so you don't have to do this. But just so you know where that is in real life, um, as you are working with clients, this is what you need to do first, is making sure that purchase orders is in fact turned on. So now let's find the estimate that we created in the previous exercise. From the left navigation bar, we're gonna hover over sales and then select customers. So here is that sales on the left navigation bar, hover over that and then select customers. Now we want to click on the light blue estimates button box to get a list of all of the estimates. That is right here, click on that light blue box right there. And this presents you with the list of all the customers with open invoice or uh, excuse me, open estimates. In our case, there is only the one that we created in the last exercise. So we're going to click on one open estimate that is right here. Click on that one um, and you will get their uh, customer profile to appear. Now, if you get any pop ups, just like I did, go ahead and click out of that. It's just QuickBooks trying to be extra helpful for us. Now, this would give you a list of all the open estimates from the photo uh, from Gelber, 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 there we go, Gavelber. I'm so sorry about mispronouncing that, Gavelber Photography. In our case, there is only one. So we're going to click on edit on that line. You can see that there is only the one. I'm going to collapse this just so you can see on my screen a little bit better. There is just that one estimate right there. So we are going to click on edit. Now in the upper right hand corner, you will see this create invoice. We're going to click on the down arrow so that we can uh, create copy or so that we can select, excuse me, copy to purchase order. So click on that down arrow, not create invoice, but that down arrow and then select copy to purchase order. You are going to get a pop-up warning from QBO and states it states that only the product items, not the service items, will transfer to the purchase order. So design and installation are not going to transfer over only the things that are actual tangible, those products, which were the rock fountain and the pump. So we're going to go ahead and click on OK. And now we just need to com complete the purchase order. Remember, we are getting this from Norton, uh, Norton Lumber and Building Materials. So in the vendor field, we need to select their name. Here is the vendor field. Click that down arrow. You can either scroll or you can start typing in their name right there. I scroll down a little bit. There is Norton Lumber and Building Materials. Once you find them, go ahead and click on their name. Now remember in the scenario, uh, Craig already has some rock fountains in stock, so he does not need to include this on the purchase order. So we're going to remove it by clicking on the trash can icon. That is right here is that rock fountain. Go ahead and click on the trash can icon. And now we need to assign Gel Developer uh, Photography as the client for the pump by clicking into the customer field and then selecting their name. 
Here is that customer field on that pump line. Click into it two times, and you can either scroll down or you can uh, start typing in their name to get their name to appear. I have it right here, so I'm gonna click on their name. And then we are simply going to save and close. So go ahead and click on that green save and close button. And now that purchase order has been saved. Now you'll need to keep this session of the sample company open to complete the next exercise where we convert an estimate to an invoice. Um, so if you liked this exercise or you want to learn a little bit more about that basic level pro advisor certification course, be sure to click on the link below in the description and I will see you in the next exercise.